instantly, we have an updated room. So you've made a few changes. Very quick, easy changes. So first of all, new lampshades, very affordable. Looks like a new lamp. Yeah, it completely transforms it. It means you can keep the base, the lampshades the most affordable part. So that's an immediate fix. Uh -huh. Next, when it comes to the draperies, we remove the valance and we replace it with some beautiful hardware. Now, this hardware is really gorgeous. It's glass, which means it's not gonna scratch. So if you're buying acrylic, that's gonna scratch. The glass is not going to, and you can see that the heavy trim has been removed. Moved. And I want to also give a shout out to Studio La Boutte. Yep. They've been making my drapery since 1994. I love wow. them to death. And their idea here was to remove that heavy black bullion that we had and then add a sheer overlay, which kind of softens and diminishes nice. the pattern, which is a little bit dated. That is so gorgeous. without starting over, these are some things that you could do right away. Good Another stuff. tip, and I just want to share this because this came up in real life with a client. She had a backsplash she really hated, but was really on a budget. Yeah. and she wanted to replace it without ripping it out. What do you do? So we got some back painted glass uh -huh. and we painted a pattern on it and it looked beautiful. Oh, a super fast installation, smart. immediately better. So that's a great idea too. That's something that, that's definitely something to, to consider. So now yeah. with the fabrics, Look at um, these. isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that stunning? So this is an updated damask. That's in lovely. really vibrant, pretty colors. So you know it's got that contemporary vibe. So yeah. everybody's gonna love it. It's still heavy duty uh, cut velvet, so very expensive. Expensive. The updated tribal I think is really, really fun. I, I, like I think too. Suzanne would like this too. She has a cool bohemian chic. She I does, she, but there's something very contemporary about that it, cool? which I like. The lines are cleaner. I love it. Love yeah, it. Love so it. you don't have to give up anything, mm -hmm. but you're looking at some versions of things that are a little bit is more Is this your modern. updated 12? This is an updated 12. Oh, I like it. So the pattern's got, ooh, I heard some ooh. Yes. I, yes. I like I it. I wonder if their husbands know how easy they are to please. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I, I, I just think this is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. And then the, the last one, the updated English floral. I oh, nice. I seem to be having a tr trouble with my table What here. is it that makes that look so different? Is it just Isn't it the, pretty? Yeah, the, it, it, I it's don't the know, the design, the coloring, the coloring, I guess. Look at that color. Yeah, I really like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's I'm sorry, these are these are panels that I borrowed from Kravit Fabrics. That's okay. And they're wonderful. Yeah, they're so, great. Yeah, so beautiful, beautiful. It's wide open. There's a big background, yeah. which gives it a little bit more breathing space. I'm going to give you all these. Oh, thank you. Thank and goodness I saved my workout here. for the show. Please welcome Jackie Glass and Suzanne Timmer <laughs> joining us. time talking about dated pieces versus updated pieces we thought you know what let's be a little bit fair now a lot of us have pieces that are actually a little bit dated but we love them yep and we love them because they still work we've made them work so Jackie you brought in pieces that some people might say hey that's dated but you love it <laughs> I do, and they are dated. Um, this is milk glass, mm -hmm. and I've been collecting it for a number of years, and I just find I love all the different patterns. And you know, they're, these have been around for many, many years, and I, I, I know many, many people that do collect. They're collectibles. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're yeah. wonderful. So what I like to do, it doesn't matter in a, in a more modern setting, and, and my new space is definitely going to be a bit more modern, a little more of adaptive modernism, I like to call it. But this will work just as well on a beautiful silver tray, um, depending mm -hmm. on the type of flowers that you insert in them, or even just leaving them as collectibles just as little vessels. Empty. Exactly. Yeah. On and mass, yes. on shelves. Yeah. Exactly. I love doing multiples of that. Yeah. And, it, and so even though it comes from a long time ago, it still always has a special place in my heart. Yeah. Because you also know how to style and you have that eye, right? I mean, that yeah. it looks fabulous. Yeah. Suzanne, we have a picture uh, of your dated yes. thing. My dated lamp. Your dated <laughs> lamp, which actually looks pretty cool, but you think black, shi is it shiny? Black, it's shiny, shiny black shade. shade. Which really isn't that cool right now. <laughs> um, and it's also the, the vintage base, like that tarnished, yes. tarnished brass, because you'll notice it's all about shiny brass right now. It is. Shiny, shiny finishes, but I still love it. And I actually even still have that wall of art above my sofa, which is also technically dated. Is it's it? all about the big picture now, That's like true. one single, but I just I just like it. And I feel like if you put enough things together that you love, you're going to find a way to make it work. True. I think if you like it, you like it. That's what I think. It's your space. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it if it works for so you. get an expert, but at the end of the day, you have to 
decide yeah. what really well, speaks to you. Speaks and to if you. you balance old things like the lamp with some more contemporary mm -hmm. things, then yeah. it will work that's, out in the end. That's right. Yeah. I'm always very sensitive to someone's sentimental attachment to things. Absolutely. Like I never like to walk into anyone's home and say this has to go. I'll always say what what has to stay. Yeah. Absolutely. And then from there you then add, as you said, other touches that give it a little bit more of a modern feel. And if they say everything has to stay, you say I'm going to give you the number of <laughs> another designer. <laughs> Exactly. I have to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, this is gorgeous, Kimberly. This is what you brought I, as your data. I remember um, when this is in, but to me, this has never gone out of style. I know, especially but if you style crystal it properly. decanters, you know, yeah. and silver. And please don't judge me. It is so I don't judge. dirty. It's a patina. Oh, it's I need it to polish it, but I ran out of time, and I thought we know each other. No, it's so okay. good. We're good. We can tell you. You can see the inside. You're on TV. But I'm never. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to give these things up, even though right. technically they're kind of dated. Yeah. We actually took it out there to our viewers as well and got some great stuff. So City Line viewer Crystal Hamilton shared this picture of 60s wallpaper in her basement bar oh, area. Oh she so says fun. they're keeping it, it's even so after they renovate. Cool. They That's like cool. it, and it's what we said. If you like it and it speaks to you, you yeah. keep it. And Vicky as well sent us this photo of her favorite lamp. Okay, her That's husband awesome. rescued it from the trash when his boss was throwing it out. It was covered in layers of dust, looked disgusting. She hated it at first. Now she absolutely loves it. Vicky says it's hand painted and must be really rare because she can't find another one like it. Go figure. The little plate on the front says Natalia. So that's what she calls it. Very sweet. Aww, she named it. She named it. We love the fact that you are sending in your pictures. Keep that coming. Let's go to break. There's more coming up on home day.